Okay, so what are we looking at? And uh, more importantly, uh, how do we solve this? You know, what's the answer here? So this is what we're going to be talking about in this video. And if you're in Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, College Algebra, any of these level of courses, and you want to pass with flying colors, you need to know how to do this. Okay, now if you think you know what it is and you know how to do it, I would encourage you to pause the video and whip up an answer and kind of see where you're at. But uh, we're going to get into exactly what this is and how to calculate it in just one second. Again, this is really, really important uh, to know for this level of mathematics. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can uh, check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video, but basically I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus. Um, but I also have many, many uh, courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACUPLACER, ALEX exam, uh, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, and many, many other type of exams, I can help you out. Just go to my full uh, course catalog on my website. If I don't have your exam, drop me a line on my contact form and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then um, obviously I help those of you who are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, if you um, are a student and you're truly serious about wanting to learn math and improve math, especially at this level, you must be extremely serious about your notes. Okay, so uh, over decades of teaching mathematics, this is the one thing that I can point to with consistency, that those students who take great math notes, okay, almost always do very, very well, and the reverse is true, okay? Now, why is that? Well, you can't have great math notes by being kind of like semi-focused. You can't be like, you know, sometimes you're focused, sometimes you're not focused, sometimes you're focused. You know, now think about what gets us off of uh, focus when you're in a, a class, okay? It could be your cell phone, your you know messages, you got a notification, boom, guess what? Teacher's t uh, saying something very important, you're missing it. It's not going to your notes, you didn't even hear it. Now you're back to being focused, but you've missed that important part. Then your best friend is like, hey, uh, you know, they get distract you over here. You get away. Your teacher says something important right there. It's just it's something that focus is very difficult. It's a simple concept, but if you don't stay focused all the time consistently, you're going to miss stuff, especially in mathematics. So focus is the key to success, not just to math, but in everything else you do. And this activity, if you go into your uh, math course or your math class, with the idea that you're going to like be laser beam focused on your teacher and take great math notes, you're going to do very, very well. Okay, but in the meantime, as you're improving your notes, you can use my notes to study from. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so I'm going to get into uh, what this is and what we do with it. Uh, again, if you think you know what it is, you want to go and you know, treat this as a little pop quiz, that's uh, more, you know, that's even better, but go ahead and pause the video because I'm going to go ahead and uh, get into this now. So what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the subject of matrices and determinants, okay? This is a big chapter at these level of um, the math that I'm talking about, Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, College Algebra. You're generally going to have like a full unit, a full chapter on this because there's a lot to learn about matrices and determinants. So a matrix, let's just kind of review Here's a two by two matrix. So we have a matrix. Now it's a matrix is a way to organize um, data numbers by rows and columns, okay? Like in an array, all right? So it's kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. You got numbers and rows and columns. Now we have these little brackets like this. This indicates a matrix. So I could call this like matrix A. Now, what can I do with the matrix? Well, there's a lot of things you can do, but one of the things we need to know um, uh, what to do with the matrix is to find the determinant of a matrix, all right? So that would be this notation here, uh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to find the determinant of a square matrix like a two-by-two two matrix. Now, this is pretty easy to do, and hopefully most of you know how to do this, but what we're going to be doing is finding the determinant of a three-by-three three matrix, and it's much more involved than finding the determinant of a two-by-two two, uh, matrix. Now, the determinant of a matrix is just a number. However, 
uh, this number, okay, we can apply to figure out other things. So it's important they know how to calculate the determinant of a matrix. So if you're already kind of lost, you're like, hmm, you're like, I don't even know what you're talking about here. Well, then you want to go back and review just the basics of matrix, uh, matrices and determinants, okay? So if you don't even know what this is, then maybe, you know, you haven't studied this yet, or you need to really kind of do some, um, you know, brushing up <laughs> on this stuff because I guarantee you uh, this is going to be in uh, this level of mathematics. Okay, the the algebra two, uh, the college algebra, the pre-calculus, et cetera. So let's get into finding the determinant of a three by three matrix. Now, first things first, one, the determinant is going to be some number, all right, some number. Uh, we just don't know what that is. Is it going to have any meaning by in and of itself? No, not really. It's just a number that we're going to calculate. Now, uh, what are some methods we can use to find the determinant of a three by three matrix? Uh, three by three matrix. So there's two uh, ways that are typically taught. Uh, the one first one is called expansion by minors. Okay. That's one way, but then there's another way called the diagonal method. I'm going to show you the diagonal method. I think that's a kind of a, a easier, more direct route, but you need to know both, okay? Uh, you need to know how to deal with expansion by minors. Um, it's very, very important, okay? So I'm not minimizing that method, but the diagonal method is a great uh, method to find the determinant of a three by three, um, three by three matrix, okay? And that's what we're gonna be doing here. All right, so, how do I do this? Well, I'm kind of already setting up the problem, and uh, when you use the diagonal method, first thing you're going to do, you can see I have my determinant. I'm going to write it right here, okay? So this determinant, I'm writing it right here, okay? Now you can see, if you notice, I, I wrote after my determinant to the right-hand side of it, I'm writing these the, the first two columns of what's inside that determinant right here. I'm putting them right here, okay? So this is the setup to use the diagonal method. And you're going to see why this is the case. So that's all I'm doing. Okay, I rewrote the determinant, and then I wrote the first two columns of what's inside the determinant on the outside to the right just like this, okay? Now, once you've uh, done that, then we can take a look at this diagonal method, and here it is. Okay, so... That diagonal method is we're going to find the product. We're going to go down this way, okay? You can see the ones in yellow, all right? We're going to find the product of each of these guys, and we're going to put that here, okay? And we're going to do something with that, and then we're going to go um, uh, find the diagonals this direction, all right? And you can see we're using those other two columns of numbers here. So let me just show you what this means, okay? All right, so let's start here. I have one, five, and three, and kind of see uh, through the numbers. Uh, hopefully the arrows aren't too distracting, but I have one, what you're gonna do is multiply. One times five times three, that is what? One times five times three is 15, okay? Now I like to put big parentheses here. This is really good to do that. Now you're gonna add this uh, to the next diagonal. This is two times two times one, that is four. Okay, two times two is four, times one is uh, four. Now I have four times three times zero. Of course, that's going to be zero. 12 times zero is zero. So you're going to put these in this direction this way, downward, okay? Going in, going in this direction. That is your first group, okay? You're going to add this up and just put this in parentheses. So that's going to be 15 plus four plus zero is 19, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and subtract it away from the second uh, group. And the second group is here in blue. So that's going to be one. We're going to do the same thing. One times five times four is 20. Then we have zero times two times one. That's zero. Then three times three, that's nine times two. That's 18. So that's going to be 20 plus zero plus 18. That is 38. Okay. So we have 19 minus 38. When I take that difference, I get negative 19. And that is the answer. Okay, so uh, the diagonal method is a great method, all right? You have to be very neat and structured. I mean, if you're sloppy, you're not going to be able to see your diagonals nice and neat. But this is an excellent uh, uh, way to calculate the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. Now, if you got this right, I must give you a happy face and a good old 1985 uh, New Wave uh, Extra Aquanet Hairspray 
um, Mohawk, okay? And an A plus and a 100%. That's pretty good stuff, okay, if you're able to do that. Again, at this level of math, Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, College Algebra, you don't, you're, gonna know how, you're going to need to know how to deal with matrices and determinants. And this is just, you know, one little uh, sliver of what you need to know, okay? You need to know how to find the determinants. You need to know how to find the inverse matrix. You're probably going to have to know how to deal with like things like Kramer's rule. Uh, you're going to have to, you're going you're going to need to know how to solve systems using uh, inverse matrices. Yeah, there's a lot you need to know. Okay, but we're going to just take it one step at a time. So again, if you recognize at least if you recognize this was a determinant. Okay, if you knew that much, then that was at least pretty good. And then if you kind of remember, there's two ways of doing it: the expansion method. And the diagonal method. Now, if you were able to do this using the, the expansion method, then I might even give you a couple more little stars here because that method's a little bit more involved, in my opinion. Uh, but it, both methods are very, very uh, important to know and effective. Okay. All right. So, with that being said, you know, algebra two, pre calculus, that's a, you know, college algebra, they cover it's a lot of material. I would say for sure, pre calculus is a more advanced course than algebra two and uh, college algebra, but again, uh, matrices and determinants are taught in both courses. Uh, obviously, I have this course, okay? I have both courses. I actually have all three courses, so if you wanna check those out, you can just go directly to my uh, Math Help program. Again, the link will be in the description of this video. But if this little video was a nice uh, brush up on uh, determinants and it helps you out in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out uh, as well. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos basic to advance, all there to really try to encourage people to, to learn math that are struggling with math, okay, or need to review math. Right? My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Nobody should be failing math. Right? If you're having a tough time in math, you know, take a look at your what you're doing. You know, it's a it's kind of a team effort. You have to do your part. You got to take great math notes. You got to talk to your teacher. Uh, but but above above and beyond that, okay, um, there's a ton of help out there. Okay, I mean things like YouTube and stuff they didn't exist 30, 40, 50 years ago for those of us who were struggling math. You have to go try to find a tutor or something. But here you have a real opportunity to learn. So if I'm helping you out. That's awesome, okay? All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.